Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to a brand new master plan video. It's your boy Ryan McGeesha back, and I have a really highly requested video for you guys. So, this is a video for the university freshers that are coming in September. You guys are starting this September, and I'm going to give you a run through of things to expect for first year and things I would have wished I heard at this point when I started out. So, I hope you uh, like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and you know, subscribe to Master Plan. We're on the road to 400 subs, so it mean a lot if you uh, hit the share and subscribe button, really means a lot. But anyways, let's get into the video. Let's talk about the things I want to tell you about the university experience. When you start university, you start with Freshers' Week. Freshers' Week is important. It's a crucial week. So at Reading Uni, uh, during Freshers, we, I remember starting out very scared, kind of intimidated by all these many people I've never seen in my life and you know it was quite an experience to kind of like get around because of so much happening so much but the uni have a really good structure in place to kind of get you sorted in and kind of like ease you into the whole thing they'll give you a wristband you have to pay for it online it's around about like well how much I paid I paid about 50 pounds so it's about 50 pounds you pay and then you literally get experience a whole two weeks worth of partying like a fortnight of partying and you can do whatever you want, go whenever you want, and you know, go with friends, and it's kind of a good experience, really. There's two events, though. There's the Enterprise Project one, which is the one that goes to, like, Q Club and, like, Revs, whereas there's another one, which is run by the actual uni called Rusu, and they do, like, union events and stuff that are mainly on the campus itself, and those are really good, too. Either way, you have so much for activities to do as well, so you are literally... From day one, you're on it. Other things that happen in Freshers' Week, you also have the Society Fair, where you literally can sign up and join any sports or any sort of like fairs that intrigue you. So anything that you want to join in and do, they will probably be there for you. So literally, they'll be in the field. I remember going and doing it at Mojo's behind the field and going in and there were so many stalls. And I remember signing up for ACS and also being intrigued by other stuff like drama, because I obviously do drama and all that stuff. And it, it was it was really cool just to see what things they have to offer at the uni. So I think obviously signing up would be so good because not only will you make friends, but also do something you want to do. So I recommend you guys, you know, try and sign up. So in terms of subjects, this year has been a very good year. Um, I have been studying marketing, but uh, we're all doing a business course, so it's all been the same. So for every single person that's doing business or something related to business, we've probably done the same amount of work and the same modules. First term, I remember we were doing a, a, a kind of an introductory uh, module. It's very, very like straightforward, nothing too out of the blue though, just kind of easing you into the work, kind of like getting you behind it. Um, and then obviously it picks up after a few, uh, few weeks. And then the second term, definitely got more modules on our plate and more assessments. And that was all actually okay. It was manageable. As long as you're on top of your work, I feel like you can be able to handle the work for first year. Like the work, uh, workload isn't too bad. Um, exams are spread out, they're online as well, so you can be able to like prepare and revise for them accordingly. I only had one in-person exam and that was the last exam I actually sat this year. Um, and that wasn't too bad either, it was an hour and a half exam. So you could be able to like uh, properly like plan how you can revise for the exams really well and not be stressed out by it. I recommend obviously like being in like a little study group or even having like a Snapchat uh, group chat so you can at least keep up posted and updated on things regarding the subject so you can always stay ahead and not feel the pressure at all. Business has been really good for me this year, I've enjoyed it. I'm actually really excited for second year because second year I'm going to specify in my chosen subject marketing so I'm really like looking forward to seeing what is going to come out of that. If I have any general advice even for people that aren't doing business with really like me, I would just say make sure you join a study group or like have a group chat with people that are doing the course so you can not only make friends but know people that are doing the course that can help you too is also to just have a bit of a plan for how you're going to structure your essays or even if you need to like know who to talk to in case you're stuck do that so important so 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 important that will help you so much next tip i'm talking about is accommodation so when i think around this time you guys will probably be receiving offers about joining university and uh obviously the accommodations that you'll probably be staying in so this is really important and i really wish i knew be careful with packing only pack the things that you know you will even need and use 
because what I did, I made a simple mistake and my mum always tells me, I packed pretty much everything, like everything, you know? so everything behind me, I pretty much took from my home and like my room is pretty much empty back at home. So <laughs> um, I really recommend obviously to save yourself the traveling with a lot of weight and obviously taking it back because I'm gonna have to take it all home at some point. Travel smart, bring the things that you will definitely use and things that you might need, but don't bring everything because that might be too much to bring and it might also just mean that a lot of stuff doesn't even get used and it's just there, do you know what I mean? So I recommend you guys just pack accordingly, park smart, and if you need to do trips and come back and get stuff, then that even works as well. But don't bring everything. Just make sure you have the things you need for your room. Another thing, make your room your own. And I mean that as in, you're gonna stay in this room for a couple months and it's meant to be your space where you'll probably study, probably hang out with friends, uh, where you'll sleep it's meant to be like your own sanctuary from everything happening in your life so make sure when you come and make your room make it your own have a little bit of um add a little bit to it you know because obviously i came in this room and this room was completely plain like no posters no lights nothing but i made it my own and i actually have a small room and i've done a lot of decorating if you see my video the tour, uh, the tour video, you can see how my room looks then and compared to how it is now. There's a lot of things that have changed a little bit. So I think definitely make a few adjustments and make it your own. You know, jazz it up, add a few lights here and there. Obviously keep in the guidelines of the uni because obviously you're not allowed certain things to come to uni. You know, it's your little, it's your little room, it's your little home technically. So yeah, enjoy and just have fun with it. Next point, nightlife. Nightlife in Reading is pretty decent. Um, we have a lot of clubs, we have a range of clubs. So I feel like everyone can kind of be satisfied with the clubs that there, are, there is to offer. So I recommend you guys definitely venture out, go with friends, try new places. Even the, the Oracle has a lot of food strips. So check them places out because food places are really good. And you know, it gives off a different vibe. You can just go in now if you're not into the party life and that. And people that don't like partying, this this also applies to you guys. If you don't like partying, that's cool. Because societies, there's loads of societies you could do and join that can you know give you a good time without having to go and spending money on drinks, alcohol, all that stuff. Like even joining up for like mojos and like a karaoke Thursday nights and stuff like that. Like there are things that can that are in place that you guys can do, and you know enjoy yourselves regardless. Another thing as well, and the very thing I really, really, really needed to hear is to budget. I recommend before you come uni, have a sort of budget of how much you want to spend per week because uni is really expensive. And I'll be honest with you, uni is expensive. Like I came to uni with a lot of money and a lot of it was wasted within the first couple of months. And that's true. Um, I had to obviously get a job, start working, just so I could obviously support how much money I'm losing on like nights out and just other stuff in general. Um, I really recommend you guys budget smart. Either make sure you are not going too ham and going out or, you know, just saving enough for when you're doing those like important things. And just make sure you have enough money because once you don't have enough money, it is very, very stressful, I won't lie, because you're literally scraping the barrel and trying to basically survive. And it's not a good feeling for anyone. So I really recommend that when you come to uni, budget, budget, budget. And as soon as you do that, you guys, you'll be fine. And yeah, you'll enjoy yourself and you know enjoy everything that has to offer it. But generally, that is my tips to help you guys, because I think I needed to hear this if I was in your position. And I think this might help you guys as well. So make sure, you know, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Master Plan, we'll be back again next week. It's going to be a big week next week. So I hope you enjoy this video. And I shall see you in the next one. Take care. And I'll hopefully see you guys in September as well. Good luck. And yeah, I'm out. <laughs>